Zubaydia is an excellent driver, <laughs> only she hasn't been in a car for four years. <laughs> Probably five years. Five years. <laughs> Today I'm visiting one of the highlights of China, the Great Wall. When a lot of tourists decide to go to Badaling and very often visit a place that is highly overcrowded, I decided to go to another place called Jiangku, an unrestored part of the Great Wall. We're going to hike there today. <sighs> okay. I decided to drive further because I get too stressed from the Mercedes driving. I just aged 20 years or something from the stress. <laughs> and we still have an hour to go. So I think we might have to sleep in the car today because uh, they're uh, cutting a tree on the road and it's getting already late and we're not there at all yet and now they're blocked off the road and we can't drive anymore Okay, update We changed again because there's too many cameras here and we're afraid that they might recognize my face and see that I'm driving and then maybe we get a fine or I get deported maybe, I don't know um, And also because of the road being blocked we have to drive two hours and a half extra which we won't make it in time anymore so now we're gonna drive there and then maybe camp or find a hotel or I don't know yet oh we finally made it and it's almost gonna get dark but you can see the wall from here it's on here tomorrow we're gonna hike all the way like this but now we gotta find a hotel here Uh, you know, I'm going to and sleep. <laughs> I don't know how, but we were supposed to drive for two hours, <laughs> but we ended up driving for nine hours. <laughs> Who is responsible for this? I will not name any names, but anyway, we did nine hours over it. <laughs> So we're not gonna um, hike anymore today, but tomorrow and now I'm gonna sleep because I'm so tired and it's very cold here. Good morning. We just wake up after a not so long night because I haven't slept very well with these Chinese mattresses again. And uh, we're gonna hike for an 11 kilometer hike on the mountains all the way on the wall. And you can see it from here. There's where the wall starts in my view. It goes like this very steep and then up there and I'm not sure if we can do the whole thing because I saw some pictures online from pieces that are very 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 steep and because it's never been restored because this part of the wall is the original is an original part there are some parts that are just too much ruin to walk on but we're gonna try This way. Maybe. Can you climb into a tree? Can you? Imagine there's a bear there now and he's gonna be here in 10 seconds. Start! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, it's, 5, it's, it's 4, 3, it's, 2, 1. It. You're dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, really? I'm going back. Huh? Maybe there's just something falling from there. But what? Branch? I mean... I don't know how deep it is. But I think it has to do with... Uh, uh, it's an oven, I think. Because underneath there, there is a, a hole as well. And it is all the way hollow. So the air could go out there and here they cooked on maybe. So how old this might be? Very old, I think. Very old? I mean, it's close to the wall. And the wall is, what, a few thousand years old? So you old? mean the people who... Build the wall. Maybe yeah. they did this as well. Yeah. Maybe while they were building, they used this to. I mean, honestly, think like while the workers maybe they used this to make food. I mean, this is just speculation. I have no idea. If someone knows in the comments, please let me know. We made it to the wall. Now we're gonna have to walk on the wall. I think it's the right here. I think this is too overgrown with plants by now, and there's not really any strong connection anymore so we might have to go off the road again go through the jungle and then go uh, down again on the next road but it would be good here because there's also lens hanging here from people that have been here before you say that this is not a path but this branch here is broken 
Someone has passed it before. This doesn't break from its own. Oh, now we're up here. so crazy how they built this like this part is an old watch post but there's not much left of it anymore but it's just a very narrow pathway and below there's a steep descent and there's a deep descent it must have been so difficult to cut all these trees here and just get all these stones here and then um, we haven't even talked about that point over there <laughs> Oh yeah, here's the wall. Wow. Look at this. So from now on we have to walk all the way like this. All the way on the mountain ridge. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. It looks from here, it just looks like it's impossible. Yes, you can sit at the top. We just did the steepest part of all. And I don't, I didn't know, I don't, I don't really have fear of heights, but I had it a little bit because it's really, really, really steep. It's just like one step and you just fall all the way down again. And I hope we do not have to return. I hope we can just go on here because it's showing this here. I don't know if we're allowed to come here. But I hope we can just uh, go here because we cannot return down. That's impossible. What does this say? It is the, under the construction no one is allowed to go to As come here come here okay that's that's great news we're doing a descent back to the village it's like an hour from here, and I'll be back at the village. Now, we finally made it back to the car after about six hours. This hike was definitely, definitely worth it. I can recommend anyone who wants to hike the wall to not just go to Badaling but to go to Jiangku. I will send the link of the uh, hike as well on Wikiloc, but I will also send the location in the comments uh, in the description. And we're now gonna drive back for two hours. I hope I will survive this ride because Subaidi is gonna drive again, of course. And I hope to see you in the next video because I'm definitely not done with China yet. There's a lot more coming up. See you next time. Don't forget to follow if you like this video and if you want to see more like it. See you next time.